Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel again and to, the, to this NUC series. I am Aditya, co-founder of Garchi and in the previous video we saw how to create the component and how to use it. So we created this nav bar and we just had it rendered in the subdirectory and also in the root directory of the components actually. So now let's see how to make the component collapsible. Because if you remember in the last video, we were having an issue with this, like it, when we go to the new link, it's still there, it doesn't get collapsed. So how to make it collapse on how, what's, what is the exactly the concept of watch or watcher. So how, what I will do is I'll just make it back to normal. So I'll just uh, make it header and rename header just because uh, to get it back to what it was it doesn't make any difference like just to make it clean okay so let's go over here in the header dot view so here we have our nav bar so as you could see like we have our show nav responsive now we need to tell uh, our nuxt that as we are using nuxt link so the state is not changed for the entire application so we need to tell it that okay the route has changed so if the menu is expanded, just collapse it. Don't just keep it expanded. So how we will do it is we will need two properties. First is use route and second is watch from the composition API. As we are dealing with composition API, so we'll use this too. Uh, if you have used view two, or if you are using options API, in that case, you don't need to use use route or watch. We just make sure that this is our only for composition API and this use route would be nothing but the router so the router property if you you will have something like this so this dot dollar router something something like this so just make sure that you're not using options api so let's see how it works so first thing i'll just uncomment this code and now let me explain you what's happening here so first we will call this so this is use route function from the composition API and let's see what it returns. So if I say console.log route and let's see what it returns. So if I go over here and just refresh the page so I can see. Okay. So if you go here and over here, you will see that we are getting something like an object where we have the value. And inside the value of that object, there is full path, there is hash, there's matched, and all not, all not, all not, all not. So what it does it, it straight away looks for the path of this uh, use route, or actually the route function. We just need to look at the path and just need to make sure that whenever the path is changed or whenever the value of the path is changed, just replace it. So whenever this value like this entire value is changed actually not just the path sorry for that but actually the entire value is changed just change the state as well so if you go to nux composition api and here so in the next composition api if you go here and if you go to use route so this is what we are dealing with so here like exactly when we do use route so it just returns the this dot dollar route that we get it in options api so it just returns us back to us make sure that you use it only in the setup function you cannot use it outside the setup function or somewhere in the expand function or somewhere you cannot use that so you have to have to use it in the setup function but not in the function inside the setup function okay so let's remove this and now let's see what is what okay so Every time a value is changed, what watch does is it only watches for what we ask it to watch. Okay. And whenever the value is changed, it does some action based on the changed value. So suppose if the value is changed from here as the route is changing, so it will just make our show nav responsive to false because we want it false so that it gets collapsed. So how it works is so. It, you get it from the composition API, so it's a function. So I'll write it again, so we can just explain it that better. So what, and that's gonna be a function. So now the first parameter of this watch is what we want to watch. We want to watch the route, 
and it will automatically watch the value of that route if it's in composition api so route dot value so we don't need to worry about it so we want to watch the route and there will be a function on that value change so here you can pass something like new value comma old value something like that so that it knows which value you are we are referring to but in this case we don't need to pass any value because we are just changing it irrespective of whatever the value is so what we are doing is we will say here okay once this is changed so i just need to bring it over top so that it can be used okay so what i'm gonna say is once this is changed so i want to make this value back to false so i'll say show now responsive that value equal to false now if i save this go back over here refresh it and now if i now it's expanded now if i go to about it will get collapsed so what's happening is as soon as the route is changed it get collapsed but sometimes it might happen that it won't collapse even i'm on about like it will be still like that so how to handle it if you see the watcher for watcher actually for the route uh if i go on home it doesn't change but if i go on about it changes so what's happening here is watch only works or this function only works when the value of this property that we are watching is changed else it won't work like it will be as it is so if i go to home then it would be like this but if i'm on the home page only if i'm clicking on home the route value won't change it will be as it is so in this case the your user just have to push it like this and it will go up the other way to deal with this is to remove nux link and use anchor tag so that's the other way to use it in that case your page will be refreshed server side so if i go do like this and now if i just quickly refresh the page so if i go here push a about and then okay so i guess uh, oh yeah i need to use href here i cannot use two so that should make it work so now if i go again here to the home page you will see it will render the entire page again so in this case uh you don't have to worry about collapsing it it will get collapsed automatically because it's server side rendered so that's the difference between anchor tag and nux link like nux link is mostly for rendering the page or the component or the link so we're just calling the link all on the like instantly without the page load so what's happening here is only the component is reloaded while the rest other it's not so that's why we are unable to like the route property is not changing even after we click on the same link and of course it won't change because uh that's how the router works so in that case all you could do is maybe you can switch uh maybe we can switch here this one our hamburger with the times so if i do here times something like this so let's see how if it works i guess times I uh, cannot read the property normalize undefined somewhere I did it wrong. So let's go here. Nux link. Okay, it should be two again back over here. And now it should work. So okay. Yeah, the times work. So what we could do is simply uh we can have it here uh bars like this bars and let's refresh. So we have bars and what we will do is if this is here like this so we will say so we'll make it as a we will bind our value over here we'll also do data binding in the next video but for now if i if it's like this if it's not if it's false then it's like this else it is like this. fast far time so in this way your user knows that so if i refresh the page this is for safe side now if i go here so it goes to cross so now your user knows that this is something i have to click <laughs> again the same thing if it's on about it goes back again but if it's this so it's it's just how it works so that's one drawback of using nuxling that uh, some of the states remains the same so in that case you cannot update it but on the other hand, the plus point is that your user don't know that the page has been refreshed. 
the main purpose of using watch is to watch for the properties when the value change so that's why we are using watch in this case so hope it's not confusing and hope uh, you understood the difference between the watcher and like how it works and etc etc uh if you have any question regarding it feel free to put it in the comment section i would be happy to answer about it uh, I'll see you in the next video where we will be working on how to bind the data and also we will be working on fetching the data from the external API. So till then, goodbye and see you in the next video.